Magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat mga ka-KJ. This is Ken and this is Earning with Ken and Jen. So, ang topic natin para sa araw nito is Lesson 1, Audit and Overview. So, overview lang naman po ito. So, let's start. Audit. Final output of audit is audit opinion. Assurance literal meaning is kasiguraduhan. It is the practitioner satisfaction as the reliability, reliability of the An assertion being made by one party for the use of another party. Assertion, ibig sabihin, management representation where it complies with all PFRS and IFRS. Audit opinion, ito ay ang mga nilalabas na opinion ng practitioners sa mga audit engagements na kanyang isinasagawa. Pwede itong maging qualified opinion, ng qualified opinion, adverse opinion, or disclaimer of opinion. So, mas matututunan, mas matututunan pa natin yan sa mga susunod na videos. So, assurance, ibig sabihin ito ay ang pagiging sigurado ng practitioner sa mga opinion kanyang ibibigay o isasagawa sa mga assertion or financial statements. Yun yung subject matter ng assurance engagements ng management or assurance engagements, assurance assertion ng mga management ng management or one party para sa intended user. Or that is the another party. So yung one party na tinatawag dito ay responsible, responsible party or the management. At ang another party naman ay ang mga intended users ng mga financial statements. So assertion, ito yung eh, mga FS natin. Yung sirapi ko kanina na subject matter ng um, audit. So scenario. Meron tayong scenario dito. Management and accountant. Tapos... Ay, management and account, tama? Management and account, ibig sabihin yung, like, yung financial statements na ginawa ng accountant, tapos, min, ano, tapos ng responsible party ay uh, bibigay sa mga intended users para ito ay ma-review or ma-review. Hindi, para ito ay matingnan or magkaroon sila ng um, decision para sa kung ano man ang nangyari doon. So, management and accountant, practitioner or practitioner are the ones preparing the FS which implies to the FAFRS and IFRS. PFRS and IFRS, ito yung mga standards na sinusunod ng Pilipinas or internationally sa mga uh, accounting transactions or equations or basta sa accounting. Intended users are the ones using the report To make an economic decision, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, decision. Tapos ito po ay involves financial dahil ito po ay quantitative at qualitative. So auditing is an assurance engagement but not all assurance engagement, engagement is an audit. Oh, so yun na naman po ang quote. So three parties involved, practitioner, meron tayong accepted that siya, auditor, independent CPA, practicing accountant, management, another party, Uh, assurance engagement or services. Engagement where the practitioner expresses conclusion designed to enhance the degree of confidence of the intended users other than the responsible party about the outcome of the evaluation of measurement of a subject matter against criteria. Subject matter is the financial statement or yung assertion. Criteria is the basis of the PFS or yung PFRS or PIS natin, yung mga standards. So, palaging tandaan po na ang assurance engagement ay may tatlong involved na party. Yung practitioner, management, at ng another party. Kung na assurance naman, dalawa lang naman po ang, ang uh, ano natin, ang, ang engagement natin. O dalawa lang ang parties na involved yon Ibig sabihin, ang involved lang na party is management and practitioner sa managerial accounting or management advisory services. Okay. So, sa practitioner, ito yung expert sa larangan ng audit. Tapos, management naman, sila ang nagmamanage or or may excuse me. Sila ang nagmamanage ng mga or may ari ng business. Tapos, yung another party naman, sila yung mga intended users. So, example ng practitioner is auditors si independent CPA at practicing accountant. Management, yung mga shareholders, mga managers, at another party is yung mga creditor, cons- 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 consumer, tapos employee, mga ganun. Tapos, ang responsible party naman, 
sila ang management. Okay, okay na po yun. So, effective assurance engagement. Objective pala. Objective or assurance engagement. Evaluate or measure the subject matter or the FS that is responsible of that is the responsibility of another party, which is the management, against the identified suitable criteria, PFRS or PAS, and express in a conclusion that provides the intended users, readers of FS, with the level of assurance about the subject matter. So, clear naman po ito, no? Basta ang subject matter ipo is the sub FS, responsible party IC management, suitable criteria is the PFRS or PAS, conclusion is the audit opinion, Tapos, intended users, ito yung mga readers ng FS o yung gumagamit ng FS natin, yung minalabas natin FS. So, elements of assurance engagement, three-party relationship, practitioner or checker. Tapos, responsibility, a responsible party is maker and intended users are user. So, appropriate subject matter is FS, suitable so criteria is basis, PFRS or PAS, sufficient quantity, appropriate quality, must be original, not photocopied evidence. So, sufficient, appropriate evidence. So, sa LMS naman, meron tayong three-party relationship. Ito, paulit-ulit na ito na binundalan niya natin sa ating mga discussion kanina, na basta nandiyan si practitioner, responsible party, at saka intended users. So, subject matter natin is yung FS or yung assertion. Criteria, PFRS or PAS. Sufficient is yung quantity ng evidence kung saan hindi kailangan ng numbers or ganon, ganon karami ng ano, evidence para sa audit dahil kahit 20 lang naman ay eh, pwede nating uh, malaman kung ano yung nangyari sa business natin. So, involves numbers. So, tama-tama lang for evidence lang yon Tapos, appropriate quality. So, Involves nature of evidence, so must be original. So, yung appropriate, ibig sabihin, hindi siya dapat photocopied or hindi dapat siya replica lang. Dapat yung original talaga. So, kung saan ang dalawang ito ay sapat na para mapatunayan ang mga evidence. So, yun yung so, 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 ano, sufficient and appropriate. So, when the combination of quantity and quality will ease the management of not wanting more evidence or of evidence. So, written assurance report, conclusion. In the form 2, reasonable assurance engagement, common to audit engagement, limited assurance engagements used in a specific procedure only like review engagement. Tapos, there is no absolute assurance engagement because of time constraint and involvement of so many evidences, which is why we need to get samples only. So, reasonable assur assurance, <laughs> assurance engagement is audit, audit engagement co Sa, sa common ito sa audit engagement. Tapos, limited assurance engagement, specific lang ito. So, we sabihin, hindi siya pang kalahatan. Tapos, common ito sa review engagement. So, matatalaga pa natin yan sa mga susunod na video. So, no absolute. Kasi, sample lang naman ang hinahanap. Not the whole transactions. Yung mga, gawalong lahat ng transactions ng company. Kasi, hindi naman talaga, parang sample lang naman. So, parang uh, evidence ng na Sufficient na, sabi nga doon. Tapos, kasi hinabo natin ng oras. So, parang yung time timeliness dito ay nakasaad. So, that's it. Ito po si Ken. This is Ernie with Ken and Jen. So, ito po yung ano natin. Uh, references. Dean C.J. Formaran. Accounting Lectures. Uh, 80. Introduction to Auditing, Auditing and Assurance Concepts and Principles. Part 1. So, 2021. August 25. Ito po yung YouTube link. Tapos, salamat po sa pagpanonood ngayon. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel para sa mga videos natin. Or kung gusto niyo po pang makapan mapanood ang mga videos na or maging updated sa mga i-release na video. Sa accounting, or sa freelancing, or sa kung ano-ano pa bang random posts na aking, na aming gagawin ni, ni ate ko, ni ate Jen. Okay? Dahil ako si Ken, at siya si Jen. Siya. So, okay na. That's it. This is Ken. This is Ernie with Ken and Jen. Ernie with us, even in pajamas. Bye and have a good day.